Rachel Lorraine Hunt was born August 2nd, 2012. She was born with only half of a heart, but with the brightest of faces you will ever see. And after 82 wonderful but hard days, she never got to go home. After my Gracie girl passed away, I found myself wanting to be in the kitchen all the time just baking. It was a distraction for me. It was healing. It was my choice of therapy. And when I got to the point where my husband couldn't eat all of the fresh baked goods all the time, I figured out another way to share the abundance. I figured out a way to start a legacy for Gracie and to give back to the heart community. And so I started making cakes and donating them to kids with congenital heart defects, just like Gracie. Bringing cakes to the hospital right before a surgery or surprising them with one as they arrive home from being in the hospital for months after recovering from open heart surgery. Celebrating milestones, birthdays, or the anniversary of a heart transplant. Whatever the occasion, I am there to make it happen. And then there are cakes that are harder to make. On this little boy's second birthday, I got to make him a Superman cake. And let me tell you the smiles he had for that cake. And then November 2015, his heart started to fail and he was placed on the heart transplant list. And as his family waited for that heart, I brought him a cake to cheer them up. With his third birthday in February, I had plans to make him a Mickey Mouse cake that was sure to get squeals out of him. But just a few days before his third birthday, his mommy and daddy had to say goodbye and kiss him for the last time. But I still made that cake for Colton as I will the next year and the next. And just a year ago, this past September, I made sweet little Liv her first birthday cake. Then just a few weeks later, Olivia's mommy and daddy had to kiss her for the very last time. What I do isn't easy, but it's necessary. These kids going in and out of the hospital their entire lives for surgery after surgery, they need a little happy. They need a little joy. And if I can bring them something small, like a cake, it means the absolute world to them to be able to celebrate just one day, as they should be celebrated every day for their strength and their fight.